Hello, this is Gareth Williams and in this video I would like to demonstrate how to configure OSPF over a point-to-point -point frame relay network. I would also like to configure the frame relay portion as it's been a while since I've done it and it will make good practice. Uh, if we have a look at our network topology, now the only thing that I've configured is, are these uh, loopback interfaces on R1, R2 and R3. Uh, we've got a frame relay switch in the middle um, I've actually used a router for this. Uh, there is a frame relay switch option f uh, within GNS3, uh, but sometimes I've found it not to be that good, so I've just um, used a router uh, for this and I configured uh, the PVC paths. Um, so this is a partial mesh, this isn't a full mesh. Um, R3 and R2 are going to be communicating with R1. Uh, so the PVCs will go like this. There is no direct PVC uh, between R2 and R3. Now I want to use uh, sub interfaces for this as you can see here. So S0-01 will be on the 12.0 uh, 12 network with a slash 30 and if you have a look here uh, this is also on the 12 network. Over between R1 and R3 we've got the 13 network and as you see there's a 13 down here. Uh, R3 will be using Del C 303, R2 202. Now R1 because it, uh, it's got a split interface it will use Del C 102 and 103. Um, let's say in the future that you want to create a PVC between R2 and R3 then you can go ahead and just add a sub interface here and uh, yeah and go ahead and uh, program that then configure that so um, what I would like to do first is to configure the uh, sub interfaces uh, okay so uh, we're on R1 if I do a show IP interface brief you can just see that I've done the loopback interfaces. So we want to create uh, sub interfaces, point to point sub interfaces for frame relay. Uh, to do that, config T, uh, go under the main interface, and I need to change the encapsulation to frame relay. Um, if you were connecting this to non Cisco devices, you would use this IETF option. But since we're using Cisco, I'm just going to leave it on there. Um, another thing as well I'd like to mention is the uh, LMI type. This is, uh, the LMI is like the language uh, the frame relay uses to speak to other devices. Um, again, Cisco is for Cisco only devices and these are for connected to non Cisco devices. You could use them to connect to Cisco devices, but obviously you'll need to configure them on all routers to be the same. Um, since Cisco's the default, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, okay, so we've done that. I need to exit out of this interface now, and I need to go back into to create the sub interface. I've got two options, multi-point and point-to-point. -point. I'm going to use point-to-point and enter that. Okay, now here I need to give it the actual IP address. So this is going to be 12.1 and it's going to be a slash 30. Um, now because it's a point-to-point -point, I have to use the frame relay interface DELC command. And for the 12.1 we're using DELC 102. This is the um, frame relay layer 2 address. And that's that done and now I need to go under the dot 2 and give this the address as well 192.168.13.1 and again the 
DLC of what was it? Is one oh three. One oh three. Okay, we've gone into the DLC uh config here, but we don't need to be in there. If I do show IP interface brief now. Okay. Alright, yeah, these are administratively shut down. We'll come back to that in a minute. If we hop over to R2, if I just do a show IP interface brief. Oh, my loopback 2 isn't on there. Let me just uh, configure that quickly. 2.0.1.0.1. Yep, that looks better. Um, okay, so let's go into here, do an encapsulation, frame relay, exit int zero slash dot one point to point, give it the IP address of one nine two one six eight dot let's say twelve dot two two five two and then the frame relay interface DLC which is on this side 202 202 I think that's okay just do do show IP interface brief that's okay we'll come back to that now Cap frame relay exit int zero slash zero dot one point to point IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot thirteen dot two two five five two five five two five five two five two uh, frame interface del C uh, this is three oh three three oh three Okay, let's bring these interfaces up now. And hopefully it will we'll be able to ping everything. Well not everything, but just the point to point links. Okay, so we're up, up on the main interface. We're still down, down there. Let's give that a sec. Okay, so we're up, up there. Show IP INTBRI. And we're up, up there. And let's check this one out again. Okay, yeah, we're up, up. Okay, so let's try <coughs> and ping. That looks good. Yep, and let's just try it the other way. Mm -hmm. uh, we won't be able to ping this, I don't think. No, because we haven't got a path there yet. Okay, so that's the frame relay portion configured. Um, now we need to configure OSPF. Uh, these interfaces here will be in area 0, area 1, area 2 and area 3 as you can see. Um, we'll start off on R1 config T router OSPF1 router ID we'll give it 1.11 do show IP INT BRI okay so it'll be network 192.168.12.0 And 
Um, what I'm going to do is do 1.0.0 match match I don't care I don't care area 1 that should do it uh, router 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2 .2. to show IP IT brief uh, network 192.168.12.0 Neighbor adjacent, see that? Uh, 0.255.255, this is area 2 And OSPF one router ID free dot free dot free dot free and um area zero Area free. Let's see how this looks now. Right there, we so we've got neighbor adjacencies that OSPF neighbor. Okay. Okay, so yeah, well, the neighbor is full, no problem there. Um, Okay, as you can see, there's no uh, DR or BDR election here because they're on a point-to-point -point interface. So there's uh, there's actually no point in doing that as well. Also, as well, it'd be worth mentioning that there was no neighbor command needed. Again, this is because of the point-to-point point-to-point um, interfaces. Um, Let's have a, a quick look at something here. So if I do show, uh, what can we do here? So show IP OSP OSPF interface. Okay, so as we can see, there's a point to point, um, a point to point state. Hello, ten, every ten seconds, dead, forty seconds, and same here. Um, show IP OSPF interface. I think is there a brief? Yeah. Okay. This is pretty cool as well. So if we want to change the cost, we certainly can do under the interface level. Um, so if we, if we want more traffic to go, you know, uh, if we were load balancing, for example, which we're not here, we can. Uh, uh, we could change the cost of it to prefer one particular interface to another. Um, so that's about it, really. Now, one thing, let's have a look at our routing tables. Okay, so if we ping something, 10.2.4.1. Yep, we can. Let's try and ping are free from here one nine two one six eight dot was it thirteen dot two we certainly can um ping ten ten dot uh, three dot three dot one yes and we can so that's it. That's how you configure Frame Relay um, using point-to-point -point interfaces and then configuring OSPF then on top of that. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching.